Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy. It's you. Yeah? I guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own, and I'm too cool to be a dork, and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. My shiny bike's at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Pathetic wretches! Come on! Let's Don't get make them. me laugh! Don't worry about those sad sacks! Good day, everyone. I'm Mr. Matthews, your geography teacher. I know you're all enthusiastic and ready to learn. Otherwise, why would you be here? Hmm, a fair guess. 
but I'm afraid it's wrong. Try again. No, I'm sorry that it is incorrect. Heavens! Whatever gave you that idea? Try again. You started a fine horse for yourself, son. Bravo. That's how it's done. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. Interested me by stick it in your ear. You're in so right. Have you seen the LA frequencies open? You ever think about taking up ice skating? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get a C-785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fun turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Here, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back!
I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb. Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell. <laughs> calm down, calm down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> good boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, that dumb kid's really strong. Dumb? Hey, be good. No. Be good. Not you, Einstein, not you. So, how did everything work out with those eggs? Not like I was hoping. Never trust a rich kid. Too bad, too bad. Was it that jerk, Tad? You know, his parents are at a party at my boss's house right now. If he wanted a revenge thing, now would be a good time. I guess I'll need some more eggs then. Ah, yes. You got it. Thanks. Come on, Russell. We've got a house call to make. Thank you. 
glad that's done. Hello? You boy, don't just stand there. Come and help! What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life! and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. Get on in here. See you later.
isn't the number one contender. Looking sharp. Nice shirt. Is that Aquaberry? What's sure up, thing. my man? What's up, man? Nice shirt. Is that Aquaberry? Well, I'm going to work at father's firm. He's making you work? What a bastard. So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. No, what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. Mommy told me, stay in school, son. 
You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Me! Who's the toughest? Me! Who's the man? Me! Me, losers! Me! The champion number one! I killed the best! I will beat the rest! Yeah! What have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff! He's our new it. champion! What? He is That's the right. new champion! Yeah, come on! Come on, man! Woo! You disgust me! <laughs> It takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat! Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 yeah. These guys go you guys soften him up. I have and you don't. Friends, just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. Get that buffoon out of here. You're gonna remember it.
now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are... Louder! You are... Uh, That's right, me. Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Kid, how do I look? Uh, great. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? Dr. Watt! The chemistry teacher? Uh-huh. I don't know what it is about that guy, but every time I get a look at his bald head and manic eyes, I go all gooey inside. Okay, that's <laughs> enough information. Thanks. Yeah, it's true. Love is blind. I sure hope so. Hey, kid. I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> Dr. Watts doesn't actually realize that we're going on a date yet. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> and I need to get ready. So, can you get me Ms. Phillips' perfume from the staff room? You know where that is, right? Oh, and I almost forgot. Some candy and some sedatives. And for the sedatives, don't buy them. Just look for them in the trash. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. Good. People leave stuff lying around everywhere.
Hey, Edna, I got your stuff. Hey, Edna, you old bat, I got your stuff. Ha! Oh, whoa. How do I look? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> if I was 50 years older, I'd date you myself. Ah, thanks, kid. Ha! Where's the perfume? Right here. <clears throat> oh, thanks. I needed that. I get so nervous before a date. Yeah, well, good luck, Edna. Hey, kid, wait! I need you to do me a favor. Another one? Yeah. What's in it for me? Ha! I won't spit in your food. Will you spit in Mr. Hattricks if I say yes? <laughs> for you, kid, I'll do worse than spit. OK. <laughs> what do you want? I want to go on a nice date with Dr. Watt. So go then. Have fun. Yeah. Well, you know what you kids are like. You see a beautiful couple out on a date, and you're bound to do anything to ruin it. You got a point. So listen, I need you to watch out for me and keep those disgusting kids away. I always knew I could do it. Maybe she'll come up tomorrow. Only, excuse me, will you help me? Please? Don't be stupid. Loser! Potential customer? What's going on, sir? It's a club meeting is downstairs. <laughs> Go ahead. Thanks. I might check it out. No, no, no! You can't use diplomacy to make the elf princess do that! Of course I can. You guys having fun? What are you doing here? You can't join our party! Give him a chance. Let him join if he can beat Fatty's Consumo high score. Why not? I can always use this place to crash.
Whoa, super cool! says you should leave me alone. All right. Cut sleep. I always said I'd give my bottle rocket launcher to whoever beat Fatty's high score. Here, take it. No problem. You can count on Jimmy. Have you ever gone to the washroom by yourself? Hello. Stop this! Is Sir, are you okay? I just got robbed by a dorky kid and I'm having an asthma attack. Of course I'm not okay. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll give you five bucks and some comics if you help me get my stuff back from that punk. You got a deal.
stuff flying around everywhere. Money. Uh, all right. Kissing day. 